Hi hi everyone, welcome to Eden Secret. It's Karen here coming to you from the Eden Valley on the outskirts of the Lake District. I've got a very, very special video for you today. In this weather that has definitely changed somewhat, uh, it's a lot cooler, the sun's gone in, the sky is cloudy, but it still looks beautiful around here. We're so lucky to live here. So the video today is um, chocolate dipped soaps. What? No, no, you can't be dipping soap in chocolate. Actually, no, I'm not. But they look like chocolate dipped truffles. But they won't taste very nice, so I don't advise anybody eating them. Uh, they look better than they would taste, that's for sure. So, hope you enjoy today's video. If you do recreate any of the soaps or, or products in any of my videos, please tag me on Instagram and enjoy this video. Okay, so we've got some soap batter here. We're going to add some titanium dioxide to that. And some mica. Okay, so I found some kebab sticks. I don't know if I'm going to have enough, uh, but I've tried one. It's much, much better, much stronger, longer stem, definitely better, much easier. So my fills and learning curves are your successes I'm really happy now this is working so much better I will be putting some sprinkles on them but I'm not going to put the sprinkles on yet because I tried it with one and because the soap is still sort of running off the ball so are the sprinkles. Much easier much less hassle than those little cocktail sticks. I wish I had some more but I might have enough. There's a lot in that box. They're, they're actually square sticks these ones from Sainsbury's. It's actually not going to take me as long as I thought. I thought it was going to take forever but this is all the blue ones. I think I've got them the wrong way around. These are the green. <laughs> the green have got blue on instead of the the turquoise with blue but the turquoise actually has turned like a dirty a dirty green now. because of the fragrance oil. The fragrance oil in the turquoise was the pink sugar and it really does discolour nasty. Oh, what's happened to this one? I've knocked it somehow.
Okay, so we're doing the duo pink now. Which is this darker one here. I need a cloth to wipe all the bits.
Okay, I'm now going to see if I can get sprinkles just on the blue ones. So I've got some lovely, cute, multiple coloured balls. They are just sugar sprinkles. They look so cute. Love it, love it, love it. Now I was going to put the sprinkles on as I was dipping them but I didn't realise that, well I should have realised that the soap was actually going to continue drizzling off the, off the ball when I stand them up like this. So now they stop drizzling and running, that's when I'm putting the sprinkles on. So they're still wet but they've probably been made for at least half an hour I would say so as I say just want the sprinkles on the blue because I'm going to do something different to each one I would like some kind of sprinkles on these uh, but it won't be like minute sugar sugar sprinkles like those but I was thinking maybe some stars or I don't think I have any flower shapes um, but to do that, I'm going to have to take these ones back out because they're going to need sticking on there like separately so that the flowers or stars are in exactly the place I want them. So in here, I've got some sugar stars. And I'm going to stick them. Stick them on here. It's going to be rather time consuming but it's going to be worth it. There we are. So I'm going to continue doing the rest of them.
right so we've done the green now we've just got the pink and the gold to go and we're gonna mix up the pink now 300 grams in there in a smaller jug not too narrow not too wide uh, but just room enough so that the batter is deep enough to dip those balls and get a smooth finish and it's not too narrow like if you were using a cup it would be harder to get that ball in there and obviously I don't want to have to top this up or reduce it so 300 grams is about exactly right so I'm just going to also add some titanium dioxide to this mix just two teaspoonfuls of the mix not two teaspoonfuls of TD I'm going to add in a bit of the hot pink mica just going to see if whisking the colour in will, will be enough Because this pink 201 it actually needs blending in because it can be a bit lumpy and we're ready to dip we're ready to dip you see how beautiful pink and green look together it's definitely in my top five of color combinations but if you've been watching me for a long time you'll know how many times I said that Pink and purple is another one. Pink and red is gorgeous as well. I mean, obviously there are loads of colours that go beautifully with other colours. You just want to try and get as much of that drizzle off there as possible and it will stop the soap running down your kebab stick.
Okay, so let's add some glitter to the gold. And here they are, my gorgeous, delectable chocolate cover soap balls that of course are not chocolate at all. They're all soap, the whole thing. So I hope you enjoyed that video everyone. If you make anything that's inspired by any of my products, please tag me on Instagram so I can be sure to see them all. I'd love to see what creations you come up with after seeing my videos that'll be really really exciting for me to watch and i hope you've enjoyed this video so thanks for watching everyone i'll see you all very very soon for another video from eden's secret bye bye for now